Hello everyone, welcome to evening prayer on this Friday, the fifth Friday of Easter, the Friday of the fifth week of Easter. Um, hopefully one of those versions is correct, the Friday of the fifth week of Easter. Anyway, um, our gospel passage this morning and indeed our first reading too, uh, kind of go together in a way. We're, we're looking at being chosen today. And we find out through the Acts of the Apostles in the days of the early church that indeed all of these people from all walks of life and all ethnicities and all backgrounds, uh, regardless of their history, are chosen, welcome, invited in to to the, the Church of Christ, this apostolic and holy church that Jesus instituted. And uh, there's just the, the rules that Jesus laid down for us. And in our gospel today, we hear the most important rule that Jesus gives us. He says, love, love one another as I have loved you. Now, how did Jesus love us? We only have to look as far as the crucifix to see how Jesus loves us. He gave himself for us and to us, the gift of the Eucharist the night before to allow us to have food for the journey, uh, his body, his blood offered up for us, love. And he, in turn, asks us to love one another, which means that we we live for the other. We don't live for our own self-interests, but we live to serve, we live to care for, we live to tend to the needs of all the people that God puts in our lives. Love one another. Um, that's, uh, you know, the, the word love is so misunderstood and so misused uh, in every culture. Uh, in, in in America, you know, we, we hear the word love and, and, and we're drawn towards the romance of life, right? That's when, when we hear the word love now, we, that's what our, our culture has, uh, has painted for us, this picture of, of romance. We think of love and we think of, uh, courtships and weddings and and honeymoons and and all of that uh, romantic uh, beauty that surrounds the uh, life-giving love of of romance and it's a beautiful aspect of life but then you know there's more than just the courtship and the wedding and the honeymoon then there's life, there's the marriage, the marriage. For our case, Ami and I, 42 years, and for many other people, it's more than that, uh, 50, 60 years, some people just starting out in their marriages, you know, and we see, sadly, so many marriages dissolve and not sustain themselves because the true essence of love is lacking. This self-giving, you know, what can I do for you today? How can I serve you? How best can I be Jesus for you? So it's, this is a, a, a dilemma in our world today to look at love not as the world looks at love, but as God looks at love. God so loved the world that he gave us his son, Jesus, to teach us, to die for us, to serve us. And we are called to imitate that love. We're, we're called to be givers of ourselves to others. So that's love, and that's what we're being called to today, to be 
chosen by God. He, we didn't choose him, he, he chose us. And when we are chosen, which is such a gift, such a blessing to be chosen by God, it's up to us to respond to that calling. He chose us for a purpose. And it's up to us to discern that purpose and to live that purpose. So let us pray our evening prayer today, thanking God for choosing us and asking him for the courage to love one another. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ became poor for our sake, that we might become rich. Alleluia. Happy the man who considers the poor and the weak. The Lord will save him in the day of evil will guard him, give him life, make him happy in the land, and will not give him up to the will of his foes. The Lord will help him on his bed of pain. He will bring him back from sickness to health. As for me, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My foes are speaking evil against me. How long before he dies in his name be forgotten? They come to visit me and speak empty words. Their hearts full of malice, they spread it abroad. My enemies whisper together against me. They all weigh up the evil which is on me. Some deadly thing has fastened upon him. He will not rise again from where he lies. Thus even my friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has turned against me. But you, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let me rise once more, and I will repay them. By this I shall know that you are my friend. If my foes do not shout and triumph over me, if you uphold me, I shall be unharmed and set, and set in your presence forevermore. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from age to age. Amen, amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, healer of soul and body, you said, Blessed are the merciful, they will obtain mercy. Teach us to come to the aid of the needy in a spirit of love, that we, in turn, may be received and strengthened by you. Christ became poor for our sake so that we might become rich. Alleluia. The streams of the river gladden the city of God. Alleluia. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear, though earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea, even though its waters rage and foam, even though the mountains be shaken by its waves. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. <coughs> the waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at, uh, at the dawning of the day. Nations are in tumult, kingdoms are shaken. He lifts his voice, the earth shrinks away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. He puts an end to wars over the people. The bow he breaks, the spear he snaps. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All-powerful Father, the refuge and strength of your people, 
You protect in adversity and defend in prosperity those who put their trust in you. May they persevere in seeking your will and find their way to you through obedience. The streams of the river gladden the city of God. Alleluia. Let us sing to the Lord glorious in his triumph. Alleluia. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor or the glory do your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us sing to the Lord, glorious in his triumph. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Son, though he was, Christ learned obedience from what he suffered, and when perfected, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. Designated by God as high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia, alleluia. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia, alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia, alleluia. There is no greater love than to lay down your life for your friends. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. There is no greater love than to lay down your life for your friends. Alleluia. Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Let us praise him and say, Son of the living God, bless your people. We pray to you, Lord Jesus, for all ministers of your church. As they break for us the bread of life, may they themselves receive nourishment and strength. Son of the living God, bless your people. We pray for the whole Christian people, that all may be worthy of their calling and safeguard their unity in the Spirit by the bond of peace. Son of the living God, bless your people. We pray for those who govern us, that they may temper justice with mercy and promote harmony and peace throughout the world. Son of the living God, bless your people. We pray for ourselves, that our hearts may be purified to sing your praises in the communion of saints. May we be reunited with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we commend to your loving kindness. Son of the living God, bless your people. Remember us, Lord, when you come to your kingdom, and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, by this Easter mystery, prepare us for eternal life. 
May our celebration of Christ's death and resurrection guide us to salvation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night and have a wonderful weekend. Starts tonight, tomorrow, Saturday. God bless you all. See you.